Hi guys, welcome to this video. I had a request from a channel member on what uh, remote access programs I use to, to remote control other people's computers. Well, I've used a lot of programs over the years, um, but what I'm using at the moment is a program called Crossloop. You can get it from www.crossloop.com. It's a freeware program. You can use it on a commercial level as well. It works on pretty much all the operating systems, and uh, include Mac, as you can see. And uh, what you need to do is put your email address inside here and click on download. And that's basically it. So once you've got that, you can install the program. It's a very small program. It's easy to use. And the customer or the person you want to connect to can disconnect whenever they feel like it. And it gives you the amount of time that you're connected to. And it's very simple to set up. Because you've got to remember, um, if you're connecting to a customer or maybe connecting to a friend, I would say it's simple for them to do, especially if they're not very um, computer literate and they don't understand about computers, then they're, they're going to want something very simple. Okay, This is the actual um, account that you can set up, but you don't need to do that just now to connect. So obviously as long as the other person that you're connecting to has got this program installed, <coughs> which is a small program, what they need to do is the person that's sharing their computer will click on the share. That means I will be sharing my computer if I clicked on this one. So the person that you want to share their computer, you get them to click on the share button. So I'm going to get them to click on the share button at this stage. And all I need to do is just get an access code from them. So if I could click on connect, I've got two minutes now to actually put the access code in. Now they would give you the access code over the telephone because that's the safest way of doing it. So basically all you'd need to do now is put in the access code that they've give you to take control of their computer. So that's the access code that she's given me. I'm going to click on connect and it will ask a prompt box will pop up on the other machine which you won't see but this will be the person saying oh, do you want to allow this person to connect to your computer? Yes or no? So you say yes and you've now been connected to that person's computer. We'll authorize it and then we will connect. There you go, that's up and running. So now I've got full control of that person's computer. It's as simple as that really. You can't get much more easy than that. And uh, now you can send files and stuff if you wanted to by clicking on this part here. Or you can actually try to do repairs. You can also go into the uh, actual configuration part and as, you, as it says there you can actually reconnect after reboot and stuff like that um, there's a lot of other bits and pieces as I said you can disconnect from here or the, the customer could just disconnect if they wanted to okay they could um, stop the share and also revert so it would be the other way around okay so basically they would take control of my computer by pushing on this one we're not going to do that. So that basically that's it really. It's as simple as that. And what I'll do now is um, I will disconnect this and show you what it's like to have be on the receiving end. So let's just disconnect. Okay, so now what I want to do is open up my cross loop. Now I want to share this computer. This is what the other person is going to be seeing. So you'll see it both ways. This is my share code that I would have to give that person they would then obviously have to go to the access tab because they want to connect to my computer now so I'll just type this access code in into the laptop so you can actually see um, what it's like for the receiver it's pretty simple and, uh, I'm just going to push connect so what I would do now if I was the customer I would push connect on the share tab, this gives them two two minutes to connect to my PC. They would then push connect on the access tab, like I've showed you already. And this is what pops up. Would you like this person to connect to your computer? As simple as that, yes or no, you say yes. And that will give the laptop full control of my computer. And that's all it is really, it's as simple as that. they have it they have control of my PC so basically you can see me moving that about and doing the thing so it's as simple as that 
it's uh, it's that uh, easy, and it's a really really uh, good um, remote control pr uh, program to use. I like using it. It's very it's free as well, and it's only small. So uh, download it, give it a go, and see what you think of it. Um, similar to Team Viewer and a few of the other ones, but I mean I prefer to use this one. I've been using it for a while now. Anyway, I hope this video has been some use here. My name is Brian from BrightTech.co.uk. Enjoy my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Also, dip over to my forum and uh, join up and register on my forum. It's free to do that. And if you've got any questions, either leave them private message to me, but I prefer it if you send it to the forum because obviously then I'll be able to keep control of all the questions that come in and answer them much more easily for you. So thanks very much again for your support. Bye for now.